A woman with true confidence don't talk down on men just because she makes more money than them. Personally, I have never been a fan of the quote, fake it till you make it. Hello, peeps. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. So today's video, we will be talking about, or I will be talking about confidence. I'm going to tell you if your confidence is fake, if you don't know it on this very video because there are so many people who walk around thinking that they have confidence and they want to make other people who don't have confidence look like shit so i'm gonna tell you today if your confidence is actually fake so without fluffing around let's get right into this video that's my biggest achievement in life i know who i am i love who i am i like what i do and i like how i do it so how many times have you heard people say being confident is so attractive so Conf you need to be confident however not everyone has rounded confidence i have as i've come to find out you know many ladies just walk around with just fake confidence just to fit in like because just want to attract a man or be in a relationship so they fake it and the man is like okay she's got her shit together let me date this woman. I'm talking about really beautiful women. And I said they get into this relationship. You see them acting all crazy over a man's phone, trying to check a man's phone. Girl, if you are confident, you will need to check a man's phone. You just don't need to do all that. Seriously. And some of those women, you see them even fighting with other women over a man. Girl, please, if you find yourself in a situation and you are a confident woman, girl, you will just walk out of that relationship. You won't have the time to be fighting another woman over a man. And now you will be wondering, but I thought she was a confident woman. Mm, fake it till you make it, women. Now, guys, let's break it down. Yeah, are five things to do or yeah, are five things that you do which shows that you have a fake confidence without you knowing it. Number one thing is living a fake life. When you have fake confidence, you do things that is above your capacity just to please people. You buy things like designer clothes you can afford. You buy cars that you can't afford. As a matter of fact, you're always behind on your car bills. But you would rather struggle than drive a lesser car. All because of you wanting to please people. You want people to think that, your sh that you have your shit together so that people will like you. Girl, if you are truly confident, you would know that you don't have to prove yourself to anyone. It is better to have few friends who love you for who you are than to be walking around with a bunch of friends who are just hanging out with you, coach to drive a Mercedes. Confident people or confident women, they know this. Number two thing that will make you know that your confidence is fake is you are scared to go after what you want in life. Listen, girl, life is too short to be making excuses. If you have true confidence, you will go after your dreams and not be afraid of failure. Because failure in life is how we learn as human beings. Fake confidence loves to talk about all the reasons why something won't work and get jealous of all this who goes after their dreams and visions. Ladies, listen, women who have true confidence are not scared to travel solo. They see advantages of they see the advantages of seeing new places and just meeting new people and and just basically experience life. They don't put their life on hold until the right man comes along or travel buddy. If you are afraid people will judge you and it stops you from wearing the clothes you want or even proud of your body, your confidence is fake. Listen, when you are truly confident, you really don't care what people say. You just move and you do you. So, peeps, if you're really enjoying this video, Listen, show some love, like this video, please subscribe. It will help my channel to grow. Now, moving on. And thank you anyways. So, third point is you seek validation from friends and families. There is a difference between asking for advice on certain things, you know, from always seeking validation from others before you take steps. There is a big difference. 
if you have an opportunity for a dream job or collaboration and you know you need to relocate maybe to a new city, girl, trust your instinct. Yes, you will make mistakes. Yes, you might fail. But I promise you this, you will figure it out. Most times when we ask for validation from others or permission, they might confuse you and just mislead you. Trust in your God and inner gods. Women with true confidence knows that some opportunity only comes once in a lifetime. And they move first rather than waiting for permissions from those around them. Listen, myself, I left Nigeria with a suitcase and nothing else just to seek a better life. In England, many, many years ago, with no family, no friends, just my belief that God will guide me. And so far, it has worked well for me. So, number four is you aid correction. No one is above correction because we all don't know everything. Some people might call this feedback in workplace, even businesses. They ask for feedbacks. Fake confidence takes offense every time they are told that they need to improve on something. It could be their character, maybe your cooking, even the smallest of things. Even how they interact with people generally. People could be like, girl, listen, you are too harsh. Could you like tone it down sometimes? They get offended over everything. There are women who say they love the man they are dating but can't stand his friends because they feel that his friends are bad influence to their man. Girl, if your man calls those friends his, be his best buddies, that means he's same as them. And perhaps you're just blinded to his fault and you quarrel, you quarrel with everyone who tells you this because you don't want to see what you need to see. Women with true confidence are not blinded by love or sex. They understand that like the people you hang around with, so you are. They use this to make informed decisions. Women or people who have fake confidence always blame others for their mess. It's never their fault. It's always the other person. Always blame the victim. If more people are telling you that you need to change something, a woman with true confidence will look into it and work on herself if need be. Now, the fifth point, you are full of pride. Listen, hon, there is a difference between pride and confidence. Pride looks like, looks down on others and act like they're better than other people. Pride is quick to judge others, even without knowing the whole information. And they always act like they always have the answers to other people's life problems or life situation. When a woman has true confidence, she will treat everyone, I mean everyone, with respect, even the beggar on the street. True confidence don't talk down on men because they make more money than them. Or you're dating someone and you look down on them because... He doesn't make more money or he doesn't make as much as you do. Girl, your confidence is fake. Confident women understand that pride comes before the fall. Seriously. Anyway, guys, if you do have any feelings that or you feel like your confidence is fake or you resonate with any of the things I've said, listen, I'm not here to judge anyone. I'm not here to condemn anyone. This is just a video to talk about my point and some of the things that I have experienced and some of the things that I've experienced or I've seen around me. And they are women who have true confidence and I wish you well. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. To drop a comment, to drop a like, to share my video. And please subscribe and I will see you on my next one. Thank you so much for your support. Bye.